I believe for the first time in program history, you were playing in the NFCA leadoff classic. Can you tell us how that came about? Yeah, um, we're really excited about that. So the NFCA leadoff classic, that's a tournament. It's run by our uh, coaching organization. So traditionally, it's put on every two years, and they invite the you know some of the top teams in the country um, from the previous two seasons. So um, we got invited for the first time. Uh, we actually we got a like second round invite uh, months before and just weren't able to make it work because we found out so late. So um, got got invited this year, jumped on the opportunity. Um, we're going to be playing some really great teams and really looking forward to that. What are some things you take from your past NCAA tournament runs going into this season? That is a good question. Um, you know, every year is is its own year. We've got, you know, new players, some who we've actually 12 freshmen, so who have none of that experience. Um, and then a whole lot of returning players that I think they really carry all of that experience with them. So one, I think it's a little bit of a balance of trying not to constantly talk about previous seasons um, for those who, who haven't been a part of them. But I mean, the power of learning from experience is so great. Um, you know, we've had a lot of our, our worst seasons followed up by our best seasons. And to be able to just use the experiences we have, talk about them, learn from them, grow from them, I think has been really great. So I think for us, it feels like those these past two NCAA tournament runs, like we've just been so close to accomplishing some really great things. Um, so while we're proud of what we've been able to do, um, our expectations now are just greater than being in the NCAA tournament or, you know, being in that NCAA or that regional championship game. Um, so. One, I mean, I do think our expectations are much greater. It's provided us a lot of motivation, and I do hope that experience we can continue to build off of. So it's no longer, you know, like those jitters or that nervousness, but it's more of a feeling of like this, this is where we're supposed to be. Uh, talking about the newcomers on the team, their returners, how important is it for the girls with experience to step up in those leadership roles? Yeah, that's, it's huge. So we've, the past two seasons, we've lost a lot in terms of innings and leaders and um, just big impact players on our team. And with each one of those classes that graduates, you know, it's like a, a little bit of a hit, but it's our job to prepare the next class so that it doesn't feel like we're missing something when, when those leaders or, you know, players on the field are gone. So. Um, it we we are lucky enough, you know to have another really great senior class in terms of you know innings and leadership um, and right now they're trying really hard to make sure that that when they graduate the people under them are not going to skip a beat and be able to step right into those roles so um, we we have our senior class is pretty fantastic we have six in that group um, they've all already made a big impact on the field um, and off the field. So we are definitely looking to them to lead our charge this season. Kind of a two-part question. Um, first, for your fall season, uh, with the new NCAA compliance guidelines, how were you able to do more then? And now with the great weather we're having, how has that allowed you to do more now in your preseason? Yeah, um, our fall season didn't change a whole lot. and. Um, that was more for like my, you know, my scheduling complications um, than anything else. So I will look to be a little bit more creative in the future um, in the fall. But what it has allowed us to do is kind of work our way in to um, our current season. So we used, we used our extra days to do group work with hitters and pitchers. We, we really value group work in our like small groups. Um, in our program, we just think that there's it's there's just a, real, a whole lot of value to it, right? Like we can get a whole lot done. We can specialize like what the players are are working on. Um, it's good for their time management. So to to allow us to do that a couple weeks earlier than we normally would have, um, 
it just kind of got the needle moving, right? So now it's not like, well, we've only got, you know, four weeks to, to have our pitchers ready for game day. It allowed us to slowly, slowly work in and um, really focus on some small things that maybe we would have missed otherwise. This weather though is nuts. So, I mean, we have, not only have we been able to be on the turf more than we normally do at this time, we've actually been on our, our actual field. We've been in the dirt um, twice now. And that is something that we have never been able to do um, this early in, in my nine years here. So we're excited about that because it makes a huge difference. You know, we're usually going south and we're playing some teams that have already played eight games and we haven't seen, you know, we haven't fielded a ball off the dirt and sometimes it seems like we haven't seen the sun in, you know, an eternity. So just to be able to get outside and get, get a lot of that work in, I think has really helped us progress. Uh, with 12 newcomers, what have been some roles that you've kind of been hoping to see them fill in this season? That's like on the field? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, obviously we graduated Sid. She played shortstop in nearly every game, she, you know, for five years. So um, we're going to obviously need to fill that role. Um, and then second base as well, we went from one senior a couple years ago playing there for four years and then last year turned it over to another senior so our middle infield is going to be very young um, right now like what we've had working there is four freshmen and one sophomore so I mean any way you look at it we're going to be brand new um, in the middle infield um, we are also filling some outfield spots. So Lauren Ferrix played right field for us um, for several several years. Was uh, really great there. Um, and now you know we've we've got that position wide open. So our our freshman class is really talented, really athletic. So we I mean we're really looking forward to seeing what they can do on the field. Um, you know we've also. We'll see. The DP, the T DP spot on our team is very competitive. Um, we've got a lot of, of great hitters, so definitely you're going to see some freshmen on the field. Um, I'm just not quite sure in what capacity yet, but I'm excited to, to find that out too. Uh, obviously, it's a long season starting the winter with practices and the fall with pra more practices. What do you tell your team to stay focused on your end goal throughout the season? Um, well, we we define. We define everything in this program because it's important that we're all on the same page. So, when um, you know when we have team meetings, like we're, they come up with what our goal is for the season, right? Like, I'm I'm here. I'm happy to help in that conversation. I've got goals too, but it's most important that they are all on the same page with what they want to accomplish. So we then continually talk about it. What does that look like? And if we want to achieve these things, what do we have to be doing right now? And then we have, you know, just different activities we do. So like start, stop, continue is one of them. So several, like it's really like every couple of weeks, like what do we need to start doing? What do we need to stop doing? And what do we need to continue doing? if this is where we're gonna be at the end of the season. So it's just, it's a lot of reflection, it's a lot of conversation um, on what we're doing well and what we need to change. Your program takes four trips <laughs> before your home opener. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of road warrior mentality. Yeah. Do you have goals for each of those trips or is it all kind of on the same? No, our overall goal is just to continue getting better, right? Like we want to be playing our best softball at the end of the season when it matters most. So if we can just keep our focus on the process, we, we know we're going to have ups and downs. Our schedule is absolutely ridiculous. So, I mean, we're going to play some top teams. We play uh, four of the teams that were in the national championship last year. We play the national champions from 2023 and 2022. I mean, uh, yeah, it's 17, I think, games against NCAA teams a year ago. So we know that with that, we're going to have some highs and lows. We're going to learn a lot about ourselves. And if we can just stay together and keep our focus on the process, then like that's, that's how we're going to get better. And I do think the past two seasons, we have been playing our best at the end of the season. So um, that's, that's really our goal. Yeah. Good luck this season. Thank you.